This is Dom Nai Radio and Television Station. Welcome to the news today. In the past four months, many provinces and cities have implemented investment projects to build at least 1 million social housing apartments from now to 2030. In many localities, plans to develop social housing and affordable housing are being celebrated, and so far many social housing projects are expected to help people settle down and live happier. Many leading enterprises in the real estate industry are directing credit lines to the low-cost housing settlement. The price is suitable to the income and the real needs of workers. Ho Chi Minh City has also complied 87 planned plots or projects to invest in building social housing and worker accommodation. As for Hanoi, by 2025, there will be 12,000 social housing units sold on the market. Currently, there are 418 social housing projects being implemented nationwide, with a construction scale of more than 430,000 units. On July 29th, the Dongnai Accounting Association coordinated with the provincial tax department to organize a tax policy training conference for nearly 400 members and business organizations in the province. At the conference, members heard about several decrees on extending the tax payment deadline, including Decree No. 44-2023 on prescribing the policy of reducing 2% value at the tax VAT, according to Resolution No. 101-2023 of the National Assembly. On this occasion, the Accounting Association also collaborated with several units to introduce application software for tax declaration and payment, noting about illegal invoice and vouchers and illegal use of certified invoice. The Vietnam National Tourism Administration recently released data on international tourists to Vietnam in July and in the first seven months of 2023. Specifically, in July 2023, the whole country welcomed more than 1 million international visitors, an increase of 6.5% compared to June. With figures announced by the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism, July is the first month since the beginning of this year, the tourism industry welcomed over 1 million international visitors. Those in the first seven months of this year, the total number of international visitors to Vietnam had reached nearly 6.6 .6 million, equivalent to 83% of the plan in 2023. Korea continues to be the market with the most visitor to Vietnam in the past seven months, with nearly 1.9 million arrivals. China ranked second, reaching 738,000 visits. The U.S. ranked third with 445,000 visits. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on July 29 that the U.S. believed that the Russian Defense Minister was in the North Korea looking for weapons to assist Russia in its conflict with Ukraine. After says Grace Shaigu Gray's visit to Pyongyang, Blinken said Russia was looking to buy weapons from its alliance. Speaking to the reporters in Australia, Mr. Blinken said, I really doubt that he make a visit there. We see Russia looking for support weapons to provide for the conflict in Ukraine. We see it's in North Korea, in Iran, which has supplied many drones to Russia for use in Ukraine. While in North Korea, Shaigu meet leader Kim Jong-un. On July 29th, the High Representative for Foreign and Security Policy of the European Union EU, Joseph Boros, announced that the bloc did not accept the coup government in Niger and decided to stop supporting this West Africa country. In the statement, Mr. Boros emphasized, in addition to the cessation of budget support, all security cooperation activities are suspended indefinitely, effective immediately. 
On the same day, the African Union AU demanded that the Nigerian army immediately and unconditionally return to Parax and restore constitutional authority within 15 days. The IU strongly condemns the overthrow of elected government as well as resident Mohamed Bazams. This is the end of our news today. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Goodbye.